Thank you, Madam Speaker. I wanted to lend my voice to support um, the work that's been done so far in this initiative and the work that's, that's going to be taking place in the future. Uh, Ward 10 is, uh, is just to uh, the east of this site, and to develop uh, some of the talent and expertise in R&D that is already on the Downsview lands and turn it into an academic uh, institution, I think, is extremely exciting. These are the kind of growth uh, areas that Toronto uh, should be looking for, marrying up the, uh, the private sector with academia uh, and attracting people who want to teach, who want to learn, and want to contribute to uh, the sciences and to aerospace. I could see also as we build up the residential component of the Downsview lands that this is a great opportunity for what we call the sustainable city, the live-work uh, community where there's, there's subway systems, there's residential, and there's also employment and educational opportunities. So I want to uh, just say that um, this is a, an enormous uh, opportunity for us uh, in Ward 10 and throughout the city. It should not detract from uh, an earlier motion at City Council where we're going to be studying the opportunities for a post-secondary institution uh, at, uh, at Young and Shepherd to fill capacity at the Toronto Centre for the Arts. North York Civic Center and the Toronto District School Board, and I'm hoping that this doesn't uh, preclude uh, some of the uh, momentum that's developing over that concept. So I thank Councillor uh, Thompson and his committee for this initiative. I thank staff for their work on it so far. I thank the uh, academic partners in U of T and, of course, the private sector partners in Barjay. I think it's an exciting opportunity.